Hi everyone, welcome to another lesson on arpeggios and in this lesson we are going to look at what I call as pattern arpeggios or arpeggios built using rhythm devices. In this lesson we are going to basically look at a time feel or the way the beat is divided. The beat could be divided by two units, by three units or by four units and then we look at the entire division system create a permutation and that becomes an arpeggio okay I'm going to break this down step by step for you and this is part of an entire series which we are doing on how to make arpeggio sound unique cool refreshing and original if you will right so we have four chords in this lesson I've used these chords in other videos as well we have E minor we have G major D major and finally a major part of a Dorian progression if you will very epic rock sounding right so commonly used arpeggio patterns will end up being that LM HM just something everyone plays right in fact I've done a lesson on three of the most commonly used arpeggio patterns you should check that out as well if you're not too sure if you haven't played arpeggios that often I'd suggest you watch those videos okay so those are common patterns you just start from the bottom or you start from the top and you get patterns right so what we do with rhythm devices or um, pattern pattern based arpeggios will be let's say I'm now going to divide the beat by four so I go double 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 one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a now if you want to play a note for every one of those sub beats you'll end up with which is very common it's very redundant and everyone plays this right if you yeah it's not very unique so one e and a two e and a doesn't you can just sort of clear the way or cut through the bushes if you will by not playing one of those sub beats maybe i would like to cut off the e of the bar so what happens there it'll be one and a two and a three and a four and a dub 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 so you essentially need to keep that pattern going so we've taken a beat beat one knocked off the e so what was once one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a will now be one and a two and a three and a four and a where the e is silent so what was once all the divisions played can now be one e and a two e and so so it creates a very interesting groove i would perhaps call this like a gallop rhythm right you can imagine an, a medieval movie where someone's on a horse and galloping so you go right so if you get used to this technique you can use this whenever you want you know in a song or you can use it in combination with something common or redundant for example if I take that which is common which is just what we play you can combine that with the gallop gallop right so with the gallop you're doing you keep that rhythm in mind you keep one motif if you will in mind tap tap up 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 either play that that sounds quite interesting on its own or combine it with something else you would combine it with something like the original commonly used pattern or right you're combining it with something which you already know which is but to break out of that to break out of that monotony you can go either do the the bo boring normal one and then the gallop or do the gallop and then the normal one like 
And there are so many rhythms you can do, right? There are a lot of permutations. It's just you have to ask yourself the question where to play and where to not play. So, for example, if I want to create an arpeggio phrase by not playing the one itself, right? Da 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 e and e and e and. So you're not playing the one one of the bar. So I like that. because anyway the 1 2 3 4 could come from the bass from the left hand it creates a nice complement between the two hands also it gives the music a lot more air to breathe as opposed to playing something like da 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 it sounds very very machine gun like so you could again combine that rhythmic phrase da 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 with the everything or the common one or or play the uh, x tick 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 or the off on 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 and then do everything okay now what if you could take two of these unique phrases let's say uh tick x tick tick that is play don't play at the one play at the and play at the er don't play at the e so there will be dub 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 very gallop like so you could combine that maybe with dub dub ba da ba dub dub ba da ba dub dub ba da ba dub dub so that tick x tick tick and then x tick 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 right if you look at the visual so it will be tap tab tab da tap tab tab immediately i'm enjoying that But I, let alone an arpeggio i'm imagining it as anything it could be a drum groove it could be a melody it could be a riff it could be a lyrical thing you're writing whatever it could be but right now we are playing arpeggio so let's do dub 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 da dub 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 da i'd encourage you to vocalize it first before you execute it on the instrument so da ba 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 da da So you can do so many things when you divide and then not uh, remove one out of the uh, the divisions, right? So when you divide by four, we've got so many options to play around with. I've shown you a couple. You can also do this by dividing the beat by three, which is also really cool. So how do we divide by three? You can say one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a speed it. Double da 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 double da. Taki da taki da taki da taki da 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 da. So that's your triplet world. Let's be in this world, and first let's play like a triplet arpeggio itself. You know, over the progression. Sounds nice, right? But again, it sounds common. It's something people play. So, so first thing you can do now is not play certain things. For example, I can not play the middle beat, so it'll be da 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 da, sort of like a swing rhythm, da pa da pa da pa, or a shuffle rhythm, if you will, da da. So it'll be da 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 da. Swinging, da da dum pa 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 pum pa 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 pum pa da 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 pa da 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 pa da 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 dum ba da da. Right, or you can play the one and the and. So one and two and a. Uh. Let's see how that goes. Right. On its own, it may sound a bit confusing, but then if you combine it with a few other rhythms, like maybe the swing, da pa da da, da pa da da, da pa da da, da pa da. What did I do there? Tick x tick 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 x. So that'll be. If you're playing like uh, Eastern folk music or a lot of the Indian music which we have, I think this rhythm will work quite well. So tick x tick, tick tick 
X, right? Or feel it. Once you've mapped it out, feel the rhythm. G. D. E. I'm getting carried away but you get the idea the whole the whole thing is get two of these permutations together two unique rhythmic devices like tick x tick meets tick tick x or else do tick x tick meets tick 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 meets everything the normal version something like that even that sounds quite cool right so essentially permutations right so if you have a division of 3 that's going to be 2 raised to 3 that's 8 permutations you're going to have 8 unique rhythm or 8 rhythmic motifs if you will to express yourself as an arpeggio in this case if you divide by 4 you have a lot more you have 16 permutations of which a few are going to be really simple and maybe boring but there will be a lot of interesting rhythms you can create using this so rhythmic devices or pattern based arpeggios again in a nutshell let's recap you're trying to divide the beat either by 4 or you're dividing by 3 if you divide by 4, 1 e and a 2 e and a 3 e and a 4 e and a, don't play everything, it'll sound very monotonous. So you do bum para bum para bum para bum para bum para bum. You get a very unique groove right there, executed on the piano as an arpeggio. Then combine that unique flavor, the gallop with something common and unique meets common will be unique because it is starting with something unique. Um, then yeah, you can also divide by three, uh, get into the triplet world, knock off some beats, develop all your permutations, combine those permutations together and you get an arpeggio which is going to hopefully be timeless, which you can use hopefully in a song which you compose and hopefully people will remember the song because of the arpeggio pattern and not only because of the words or the melody or the singer's voice which are obvious right people should remember the song also because of what the piano player is doing that'll be quite cool so have fun with this lesson as always this is jason here from nathaniel like share subscribe comment Anything else you'd like to do nice with this video and I will see you in the next lesson. Cheers.